for sure. sure. For planes, buses, trains and cars, I'm heading from Dhaka to Dakar. Hello. Hello, Annie here, Annie's World Journeys, and we are doing Dakar to Dakar. And uh, today is day 25. And you join me at the end of the day because uh, the microphone has broken and everything I recorded today and yesterday, um, yeah, there's no audio. But uh, I do have a backup microphone, I just wish I'd realized. I wish I'd actually gone through yesterday's footage yesterday instead of today um here is uh a brief pricey of what happened to me today um yeah so uh, musket has not been uh, a great friend to me um i've had i've been bashed and and bruised um uh, and uh, i fell down the stairs today at the matra fault so well done to me this camera that i'm filming on which is my nikon it fell 15 meters and tumbled down basically this rocky hill and all that broke was the lcd screen which still works but it's all cracked and the filter that i had on the lens um because i didn't have the lens cap on at the time so i was so lucky and um i was even more lucky to be looked after by a couple of guys from Pakistan who helped me out and they had a first aid kit and uh, they sanitized the wounds because there was a bit of blood and um, yeah yeah so it's been a it's been a fun day uh, I started off here driving along I caught a share taxi um, to Matra Corniche which is absolutely beautiful check out these wonderful Views. extremely excited to actually get on a bus because a bus is much cheaper than any kind of taxi here in Muscat where the taxis are a lot more expensive than I've been paying uh, previously let's let's just leave it at that and um, anyway I headed down here Um, anyway, I headed down here and you'll see this is the Sultan's Palace and uh, the Sultan they recently uh, got a new Sultan in 2020 when the previous one passed away and um, you can't go into the house but you can take your selfies in front of it and it's, uh, it's a beautiful area. formalities are done here at the Sultan's Palace. We are going to have a look here at this magnificent National Museum of Oman. Now I know that I know that I'm not a huge fan of museums in general but let me tell you if if they're in an impressive building that means a lot. I love a great building and let's have a look because this is pretty wow.
So folks, this here is the Matra Fort. Let's, uh, let's head up the fort and see what it has to offer. No doubt some beautiful views of the Corniche. Okay folks, so they, these steps here are the ones uh, where I have my tumble on the way out. There's no rest for the wicked though. From here we're going to the, uh, the souk, the Matra souk. sunsets over the Matra area, we can all appreciate that we're still alive. Well folks, it's a very good morning here from the Grand Mosque here in Muscat. Today is day 26 and uh, it's the 18th of February. This mosque uh, is dedicated to the late Sultan who passed away in 2020, Sultan Qaboos. So um, anyway, let's take a look because it's uh, magnificent. Fun fact to know about the mosque is that um, it's open between, I think, 8 and 11 for uh, foreigners and visitors to come and have a look. So you can't visit it outside those times. This here is the ladies prayer hall. Over here is the main prayer hall. Dome and that, that chandelier, that is magnificent. Well, there is no doubt in my mind that this is the premier thing to go and see here in Muscat. And I'm pretty sure that most people would agree with me. <laughs> I'm soldiering on today, as you know. Had a bit of a bad day yesterday, 
Um, we'll see what we're going to do. Got to go and get a bus ticket. And um, yeah. Now I'm not sure if this is where you get tickets because it just looks like where all the buses live. Mawasalat is uh, the biggest bus company in Oman. They run the local buses as well as the uh, Dubai ones and stuff like that. Intercity, I should say. Uh, I'd like to buy a bus ticket uh, for tomorrow for Dubai. Okay folks, good news, I have my ticket for tomorrow to Dubai. Bad news, I wanted the afternoon one so I could do a few things here before I left. But they've only got one a day and it leaves at 6.30 a.m. So, that vlog is going to feature an extra tired Andy. Now we're going to see if we can um, check out a mall before uh, I guess I wrap it up because I'm not going to get around to all as much as I hoped. Okay folks, let's talk transport here in Muscat Oman. Um, it sucks. But we're going to take the bus now to the Avenue Mall, but um, let me tell you that the buses are infrequent, the roads are crazy, taxis are, I suppose they're not too bad, but you know, they're still, uh, if you try to keep your costs down, taxis are gonna destroy your budget. Um, you can do share taxis, which you probably get for a few hundred baisa, baisa, if you like, that's, the Omani reel is divided into a thousand baser. One reel actually uh, works out to be, I think, about 33 US cents. So it's, a, it's what they call a strong currency, I guess. Anyway, here we are. This here is the Mawasalat bus day stop here for route number one, which is what we want. Sometimes those taxis will pull over. Uh, and uh, we're talking about there's a shared taxi and you only a few hundred baser for that but I mean everything is built on these big roads and wide avenues and everything and it's very hard to get from one side to the other uh, which is what I had to do and uh, there's an overpass but it's like 300 meters down there so it's a lot of work just to get around musket making me run. Okay, so we're finally on the bus in Oman. The Maswalat bus costs uh, anywhere between three, five hundred paisa, so it's a lot cheaper than a tax. Yeah. Hey doctor, would you look at the size of that one? My word Jamie, that is a big one. You guys have got to check out Black and White Doctor Who, I tell you. This folks is the Oman Avenues Mall and uh, it's got Ikea and it's fair to say I haven't seen the likes of this on my trip. Okay. Okay, okay, this is a serious small folks. Um, don't kill me. I'm gonna see what Omani McDonald's is like. I just met a nice guy uh, from Norway on the plane and uh, we're gonna chat a bit. So holy crap folks, um, that apparently is a large. Uh, we don't have that size in Australia. <laughs> holy mackerel. I don't know how, how much it is. Is it, is it 750? Is it a litre? A litre of Coke? I'll be going to the toilet for the next three days. All right, folks, the Big Mac test. Yeah, 
Hey folks, I'm here at the Avenue Mall with Ayman, who is from Norway. Yes. Uh, and uh, I bumped into him uh, as I got off the bus here. And uh, we've just spent the last hour having a good chat. Uh, he's just going to say a few words. One of the people we meet on our journey. Hello guys, uh, I met this cool guy here. He giving me a lot of advice uh, to my chance to stay here in uh, Muscat. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure meeting you. And uh, thanks for the advices. Uh, and uh, so I will now go out in Muscat city and uh, explore. Thank you so much. He called me cool. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. Thanks man, cheers. And the best of luck. Thank you, thank you. Avenues Mall Musket Oman. This is cool. Hey, we have come whew, to the end of the Musket vlog, I think, folks. Uh, tomorrow, 6.30, off to Dubai. Fingers crossed, I'm still here. I've survived Musket. I actually think Muscat is a great town and, and, and highly worth visiting. Um, I would warn you that getting around is not as easy as it could be. Dubai has a metro. Muscat could probably do with a metro. Um, it's, it's a very sort of spaced out city and actually where I am is not particularly close to the action as it were, to the Corniche and to the old city, but it is well priced and it's comfortable. So, you know, it ticks the boxes and there are ways and means of getting about, but it's um, deep as I've done a lot of walking. Somehow my cameras are still working. I'm going to have some audio issues, going to do my best to work around them. So anyway, tune in next time when, inshallah, I will be making my way from here in Muscat to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Thank you for joining me. Take care, whatever you may be in the world. May the journey never end.